Well, I'm Lee Beal, and I'm uh, president of the sport class, and uh, I fly this uh, Lance Air Legacy that uh, we named Breathless for its lack of a turbocharger. Flew F-4s for the Nevada Air National Guard for 25 years. While I was with the uh, Air National Guard, I was working race control for the races for quite a number of years, and as I was trying to figure out how I was going to get my aviation fix once I retired, it occurred to me that it would be an awful lot of fun to be a racer instead of a controller out at Reno. Essentially, that's how it all started. I, I did the race control uh, up through 1997, and then in 1998, uh, a couple of us got together and started the sport class. We convinced Rara that it was a that it was a good thing to do. We wrote our rules, we wrote the syllabus, we organized the class, we put together a training program for new racers, and uh, 1998 was our inaugural year. In the in the first year, there were 13 racers, and uh, that was uh, that was the nucleus that uh, we started the class with. The first year, no one had any race experience. We inaugurated PRS. We uh, wrote the first training syllabuses and uh, uh, got them accepted by uh, the Air Race Association. And it was because uh, the Air Race Association knew that none of our pilots had ever actually raced before, that they felt that PRS was necessary. That uh, expanded to all the classes. When we started the class, we wanted to showcase all of the technology that had been developed within kit airplanes. And uh, we were hoping to set up kind of a Ford Chevrolet competition between Lance Air, Glass Air, and so forth. And uh, to some extent, we've, uh, we've been able to do that. But uh, the reason that we have relatively few rules is that we want innovation, we want change, we want to uh, have people uh, develop new ideas in aviation that can spill over into uh, the general aviation sector. The super sport class was a uh, uh, was a outgrowth of the fact that there was becoming an increasingly s large spread between the top of the class and the bottom of the class. Super sport allows engines that are over 650 cubic inches, which is the limit for sport, and it also use, uh, allows it the use of ADI, anti-detonation injection, and uh, other uh, exotic fuels like uh, nitrous and uh, uh, that kind of thing. Things that you don't find in your normal everyday flyer. In super sport class we see quite a variety of airplanes. Uh, we've seen uh, this last year we had a couple of NXTs. We had a turbocharged Quest Air Venture which is a one-of-a-kind airplane. We had a Thunder Mustang, and we'll have more of those in the future. We had a couple of turbocharged legacies, including Daryl Greenemeyer's with uh, a geared engine. A uh, very, very interesting airplane. There's a, there's a mix of airplanes. It's, a, it's an exciting race to watch. I flew a Quest Air Venture that was, uh, that was a very fast airplane, and uh, uh, I really enjoyed that for a number of years. And, decided that, uh, that carbon fiber and uh, uh, the new legacy was really going to be the uh, up and coming new design. So when I bought this airplane, I had high hopes. In fact, when I first got it, I found that it wasn't as fast as my old Quest Air Venture and uh, was a little bit disappointed. And, and at that point, just sat down and said, okay, I'm going to work on this airplane and work on the aerodynamics and try to make this airplane as good as my Quest Air Venture, as fast as that particular airplane was. And that's what set me out to uh, keep the turbocharger off the airplane, which would have been an easy solution to get some, some speed and just work on the aerodynamics. We did a number of tough tests and flew in formation and took pictures and saw where the little yarn went, did a lot of that kind of analysis trying to speed the airplane up. And we made a number of changes, very subtle changes, 
but changes that made a big difference in the, uh, in the speed. It's been important, an important piece of pride that I've been able to make the airplane go faster every year, and uh, I kind of think I'm at the end of the road, so uh, I'm scratching my head saying, uh, all right, I've got to go faster. Uh, maybe I'll have to, uh, uh, maybe I'll have to go to a turbocharger. My biggest struggle was uh, the overcoming my problems from last year. Uh, last year I went into the races uh, with an airplane that uh, was dramatically faster than any of the other sport class airplanes and uh, was very confident that I was going to walk away as the champion. The first day of race week in uh, 07, I was giving a check ride to two other pilots, uh, one of whom turned out to be a rival, Jeff Lavelle. I blew the engine up, made an emergency landing at Beckworth, and uh, of course was out of the races. The ironic thing is that both of those guys were going to have to demonstrate to me an emergency landing. And uh, instead of that, I wound up demonstrating a real one to them. And so this year, I was starting over again with a new engine. Uh, I worked with a mechanic, Mike Brown, at Mountain Air Aviation, who was meticulous. And he built a new engine uh, from the ground up, but uh, obviously achieved a very, very smooth running engine that's putting out quite a bit of power. Oh, there's no question that Jeff is out after me. He knows that his airplane was actually slightly faster, uh, although I was able to stay ahead of him all week long until the uh, final race. And he passed me on the final race and then had some engine trouble and had to pull out. But, but uh, that was enough to convince him uh, and me that, that he was, in fact, faster than I was. And I, he will be out after me next year, no question about it. I think that the Super Sport's the most exciting race out there because uh, they're just uh, pushing these airplanes and developing new technology. And um, the, uh, the NXT, John Sharp's NXT that went 409 miles an hour in an amateur built kit airplane is, is fantastic. And uh, uh, he's set a new bar and uh, it took the Unlimiteds years and years and years to break the 400 uh, mile an hour mark. So uh, to see that happening in super sport with uh, these kinds of airplanes that anybody can go out and buy is just a, uh, it's, it's just a, a really exciting thing.